everybody, it's Norma and TGIF made it through another work week and I am showing you guys my final haul from the Yankee Candle semi-annual clearance sale. And I did do another video when the sale first started. I made a small purchase of some candles um, so you can go check out part one and I'm really super glad I did that haul because basically all I did was I got some large jars when they were 50% off because there were some candles that I wanted specifically Napa Valley Sun and I was afraid that the stores would be sold out before I got the candles and oh my god thank goodness I did it because first of all Yankee did not do the 6 for 60 sale this year. So holding out for a better price, you know, didn't quite work out. They did have a 5 for 60, which I'll get to in a minute. But when I went to the store for the 5 for 60, the Napa Valley Sun was no longer on sale. And my manager told me that uh, Yankee was bringing it back as a, a treasure, so it was technically part of the regular line even though it's not really part of the regular line it's just like a regular treasure type of scent so it was no longer on sale so I was like super glad I went in the day I did and it was you know it was included in the sale in the store although it was not 50% off online it was just a mistake with the store so I kind of lucked out there so I have actually two hauls here I have my um my sale my sale my uh haul that i did during the the large jar sale where it was like five jars for 60 four for whatever three for whatever the the more you got the better discount you got but not as good as a six for 60 and then i also went to yankee today and did a tart haul so and once again that sale wasn't as good either everybody was expecting the tarts to go down to 49 cents because at the, the start of the sale they went from 199 to a dollar and then typically Yankee does a 49 cent tart and votive sale you know near the end of the semi-annual sale they did not do that this year there's technically a couple more days left there's Saturday and Sunday so who knows what they're going to do I'm not counting on anything um, but they did have the tarts and votives where it was basically get 20 for $15 so it made them 75 cents each so as you can see I did not do a big haul because the sales just weren't as good this year and frankly neither was the selection I was really really shocked I talked about it in my part one video where the semi-annual sale last year was like amazingly good it was just like phenomenal and I picked up so many fantastic candles like Roses of Cliff Walk, Greenhouse, Lemon Zest, Key Lime Pie, Dune Grass, uh, Whiskers on Kit. I mean, they had so many, it was unreal. This sale, they had hardly any treasures they bought back. You know, any candle that I was interested in was probably an online exclusive. It was just really, really pathetic. And I even talked about it um, when I went to the store today with one of the sales associates. And they were, you know, they were like, yeah, we don't know what's going on. They said last year during the semi-annual sale, it was like an extension of Christmas because they had so much business because there were so many candles and so many good deals. And this year it was like blah, blah, blah. So they're hoping that maybe the, sum sem the summer semi-annual sale will be better. Who knows? I don't know. So... I really didn't get anything exciting here. Um, you see only three jars here, but I actually did pick up five. I just picked up duplicates. So I picked up two carrot cakes, two cookies and cream, which were um, you know candles that I picked up in my previous haul, so nothing exciting there. And then I picked up sparkling snow. And the reason I picked these candles up, because the candles that I went in to get were gone. I wanted to get you know a couple red velvets because I was only get five I wanted to get two red velvets I wanted to get two Christmas cookies and one more Napa Valley Sun or any combination thereof but those were the three candles I wanted to get red velvet Christmas cookie and Napa Valley Sun and as I mentioned Napa Valley Sun was no longer part of the sale and red velvet and Christmas cookie were, were 
sold out. My backup was going to be snowflake cookie, and they didn't have snowflake cookie either. I mean, it was, the pickings were really, really slim. So I end up getting carrot cake and cookies and cream because on the cold they both smell pretty good and I'm really liking the cookies and cream I have it going right now. It's, I figured it was a really good substitute for Christmas cookie. And then sparkling snow, uh, I talked about this in my empties video and I did a review on it last year. This one, I'm kind of surprised I got this because I didn't think I was going to really, um, it was going to really be a favorite of mine, but it, it burned really nice, had a good throw, and it has this holyogram that, you know, when it burns, I mean, you can see, it's just, it's just a beautiful, beautiful candle burning. So I said, you know, I don't have anything else to pick from, so I might as well get it. So that's what I did. I did five jars, two carrot cake, two cookies and cream, one sparkling snow. So... Today I went to the mall by my work and I decided to stop by the Yankee and I did a tart sale and once again disappointing but let me show you what I got. Okay so as I mentioned they had the tarts and votives on sale for basically 75% off if you bought 20 for 15 so I didn't want to go crazy so what I did was I bought three sets of 20 so basically it was $45 uh, but I end up getting something else which I'll explain to you in a minute why but what you see before you here is not for me I did not get these for me I um, for Christmas I got all my nieces and nephews and my brothers and sisters tart warmers and a collection of tarts so during the year when you've been seeing my hauls and you've been seeing tarts the majority of those tarts were not for me they were going as gifts so next Christmas I plan on doing something similar I mean obviously I'm not going to get them another tart warmer um, I'll you know, do gift cards or whatever but I decided I'll supplement their tarts I, I was really nervous that the tart warmers weren't going to go over really well but everybody liked them because they my family is not into candles the way I am and they just don't have time to sit around and babysit a candle so they really did like the tart warmers because the tarts you just put them in it's quick it's easy you know it's much more suited toward their lifestyle so I kind of I wanted to pick up a couple Christmas tarts because one of my nieces lives in San Diego and she said she really appreciated having the fall and Christmas scents but I also decided, um, because the sale wasn't that great, it wasn't down to 49 cents, I wasn't gonna go crazy, I wasn't gonna get like you know some of everything. So I decided to kind of focus a little bit on the scents that aren't gonna be available like next fall and Christmas because they may not come back, either they're treasures this year or being retired. So for instance, I picked up six hazelnut coffee because this is a scent that is being retired. I picked up six milk and cookies, which is, I think, a really nice one. I picked up six vanilla chai, simply because I thought it was a scent that they would probably like, you know, college-age kids. And I picked up blueberry. I picked up magical frosted forest and that's what I kind of debated about because they had balsam and cedar mistletoe holiday bayberry um, but I kind of wanted you know just like a nice Christmas tree scent so they had this one and holiday garland which I think I think they're they're the same scent but I thought this looked really nice with the Christmas tree and I was thinking about my niece in California I thought she would really enjoy this one so I went with magical frosted forest and then a nice summery scent is uh, cucumber cantaloupe. And I wish I had gotten this one for me. This is one I've actually never had. I remember during the semi-annual sale last year, I, oh my God, I must have picked that jar up a thousand million times. And I couldn't decide. And then when I finally decided I wanted it, I went back to the store and of course it was gone. So I never did get it. And then of course, a classic celebrate Christmas. They had gingerbread, but since I was limiting myself, I decided to go with this one because mm, I just love this scent. So that is what I did for my nieces and nephews, but fear not, I did pick up a couple tarts for me. Okay, so this is my sad little haul that I did for me. I got this and that. 
yep, I can't believe it, but yeah, that's how it went down. So what did I get? I got Country Lemonade. They had only four in the store, so I got all of those. Then I grabbed three more milk and cookies for myself because you know, I, I had to get my total to come out to because I was doing 20, 20, and 20. So I did three and they had one Lake Sunset in the store, so I grabbed that one. That was it. That was it. So then I get to the cash register, and I was like, oh my gosh, I totally forgot. What Yankee did have was they have this $10 Yankee candle cash. So basically, if you spent $50, you got a uh, $10 cash voucher, which you can earn up through Sunday, January 19th. Then you have to redeem it January 20th through February 11th. So my total was short. So I had to grab a couple items and I wanted some Illumilids, another Illumilid like the Snowflake one, but they were sold out of those. They were sold out of the um, most of the melt cups that I wanted. I, I wanted like Christmas cookie. They didn't have that. All they had were like some pumpkin ones. I didn't want that. So I ended up just grabbing some... Uh, Playing unscented tea lights because I've been going through them like crazy, you know, during um, the fall and Christmas. If you guys have seen my What I'm Burning Now videos, you know, I really decorated for fall and the holidays, so I had tea lights going everywhere. So I was really getting low on my tea lights. So I said, you know, I'm going to stock up on my tea lights. So that's all I did. I got two bags of unscented tea lights and Country Lemonade, Milk and Cookies, and one Lonely Lake Sunset Tart for me. And I do have I do have this, and I have a $5 voucher somewhere. So basically I have $15 that I can use at Yankee um, in the next couple of weeks. So hopefully I can get something a little bit you know more fun. We'll see. But I did get the spring catalog while I was there. So let's take a look at that. Okay, we'll just go through this really quickly. And what I, I really wanted the, the catalog for was to see what kind of treasures they were bringing back. They did have a few accessories out. They had some beautiful turquoise glass ones um, behind the cash register that were really pretty. I have a feeling one or two of them may end up in my home sometime this year. And she said they were just starting to get um, shipments in, so they... Um, they had some boxes that they hadn't unboxed yet. She said, you know, like during the weekend and next week they'll be getting shipments in. So let's see what they got going on in here. Um, red raspberry, they've been promoting that. Um, what is that? Like a, that's like a two wick pillow horse, a bicycle. Oh, my brothers would like that. They're both into biking. Look at that tea light holder. That's pretty cute. The dragonflies. Let's see. Spring. These are some spring. I'm not a huge fan of gingham, but uh, looks like that's going to be the accessory, like gingham and wicker. That makes sense. You know, you got the blue summer sky, the picnic in the park. I, you can kind of see the theme that they're doing there. Oh, while I was there, I did smell the Girl Scout cookies. Oh, that's a cute warmer, the centerpiece. And frankly, the only one that I really cared for was the Thin Mint one. That one smelled like really delicious and chocolatey. They're in the smooth wax, not the paraffin wax. These are centerpiece warmers. They did have the centerpiece warmers back in stock. Ooh, Whisper. What is Whisper? Heavenly, sweet, and luxurious, this perfume captivates the senses with its quietly enhancing beauty. Okay, so what's it supposed to smell like? But it is white, so you know I'll probably want it. And these are Paradise Meadow Pearlescent. Okay, Pure Radiance. They have another lamp. What is this? Oh, I thought it was a scratch and sniff. Okay, another lamp. Oh, that's kind of cute. You know, I'm really getting into the hurricanes and accessories. 
So they have some new sizes, two new sizes, new medium and small vase. So they had the large and the small, I guess now they got a medium. Okay, here we are, the Girl Scout cookies. They have chocolate peanut butter, coconut caramel stripes, the trefoils, and I really thought I would like that one because I thought it would smell like a, like a shortbread cookie or a Christmas cookie. I, I don't know, I can not get much of a scent. They have Thin Mints, that was a good one. And Irish Cream, so St. Patrick's Day, so they got Irish Cream. Luau Party, Luau Party. Lucky Shamrock, they bring back that all the time. Fresh Mint, oh that'd be nice to have Fresh Mint, I know that was really popular. Spring Days, Early Sunrise. Okay, Treasures, that's what I wanted to see. From our vault for a limited time. Fresh Cut Roses, which like, okay, that kind of pisses me off because I heard it was being discontinued and last summer I stocked up like crazy and now they're bringing it back, of course. Lemongrass and orange, honey and spice, and peach and lavender. Is that it? Four candles? I guess that's it. Oh my gosh. Okay, then welcome the new sense of spring. I think everybody knows about these right now. I've smelled them all. Peach cobbler is pretty good. And I actually own this one. Um, I don't think I did a haul on it, but I do have the peach cobbler. And looks like the same old suspects. Okay, let's go through this. Some of the accessories. Anchors away. Sun and sand. Oh, these are the turquoise ones that I saw. Island time. Isn't that beautiful? I really like these turquoise glass. Black coconut. I guess black coconut and golden sands are coming back. Beach walk. Beach wood. They really are doing some nice accessories. That's probably it. Then we get into the, the Y collection. Oh my gosh. They didn't give it up. They didn't give it up. Looks like the same scents. Night tail, that's a new one. Oh, look at that. Okay, here's the nightshades. I know a lot of people were asking about these nightshades. Lacquer red, it's like lipsticks. Lacquer red, kiss and make up, and pillow talk. Black Satin, Midnight, and Suede, what is that, Suede, Suede Noir, Suede Noir. Slightly daring, very alluring. Okay, so we have the Lacquer Red, Red Rose, and a Touch of Leather, Kiss and Make Up. Tangy Lemon Sugar, Delicate Apple Blossom, and Sheer Musk. Pillow Talk. Sweet Mandarin, Alluring Peak Jasmine, and Smooth Amber Silk. Black Satin is Clove Bud, Rich Nutmeg, and Aromatic, aromatic Sandalwood. Midnight. Breath of Crisp Air, Spicy Rosemary, and Haunting Sea Musk, and Suede Noir, Suede Smoked Incense, and Mysterious Patchouli. So, there it is, the Nightshades Candles. I don't know. I don't know. They don't have a scratch and sniff, so I guess I have to wait till I go in the store to see I mean, some of them count sound kind. Let's talk. I can't talk. Some of them sound kind of interesting. So, hmm, we'll have to check that out. And then, yeah, the red candles for Valentine's Day. And we're just nearing the end. Yeah, nothing there, nothing there. That's going to be their, their special 
just on the sense right here. Basically, the coupon is going to be buy two, get one free. And yeah, that's it, guys. That's it. Sorry. Not very exciting there, but uh, it is what it is, right? If you guys like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe below, and have a blessed day.